You are listening to Live Free with Rebecca Packard. With this podcast, Rebecca will help spiritual entrepreneurs and mompreneurs experience emotional freedom so that they can create calm and balance in all areas of their life. If you're ready to release your emotional baggage, trauma, and that constant feeling of overwhelm, then you are in the right place. Your journey starts now. Here's your host, Rebecca Packard. Welcome, I'm Rebecca Packard, and today we're going to be talking about your silent vibrational conversation with the world around you. If you were talking with us last week or listening last week, we talked about how I had two different guests that kind of went into the space of, um, they had brought up how television had affected them in their lives and that they hadn't realized how much that that had taken place until we were having our discussion. And then last week we were talking about how the different aspects of what television looks like today and the different ways that it affects us in our life, but also how we can change that and how we can acknowledge that and also what we can do to move through that, um, especially if we want to change that. Uh, And this week, I want to talk about our silent vibrational conversation. This is something that I work heavily in. It's literally the epitome of everything that I do. I work with the emotion code. I do EFT. I do angelic Reiki. And one of the things that I talk a lot about is our silent vibrational conversation with the world around us. And that kind of stumps people sometimes (laughs) because we are so so focused at tangible we are so focused at what we can see and feel and touch and experience and we forget that there's this entire invisible space around us and i like to explain this in the space of have you ever walked into a room and immediately you were like yes everything in here feels good i am happy everything in here feels happy and wonderful and the people in here feel happy and wonderful and everything is glorious. Yay, unicorns and rainbows, right? That is the aspect of taking in the vibration and having it be a match. This is where you're like, ooh, this is a vibrational match to who I am. And then have you ever walked into a room and gone, yeah, and nope, I gotta leave now. Or, yep, nope, I don't like these people. Guys, we're human. It's okay to go places and not like people. It happens. Um, And here's the trick. Something in you is being triggered. Some aspect of you in your silent vibrational conversation of the emotions that you're holding on to are being triggered to a time period or a space that you were not well received, that made you uncomfortable, that made you embarrassed, that made you angry, that made you feel different feelings that you don't like. And so that's what's happening now. And you're taking and the thought process is, is I don't like these people when really it's, wow, I have some work to do and I didn't realize it. Isn't that crazy? I love it, but it's also crazy because A lot of people will just be like, okay, yeah, no, I got to leave. And that's great, but you also have to work on that because here's the thing. We're all adults, well, mostly, and we are all choosing in this world to move through this world. And ideally, if you're listening here, I know that you are because that's the kind of people I attract. You're looking to raise the vibration of the planet. You're looking to touch people's lives positively. And you're looking to leave a legacy life. You're looking to leave a positive impact on everything around you. And so when our silent vibrational conversation shows up and says, oop, danger, danger, Will Robinson, something's wrong, I don't like this, we need to look at that, what's going on. And so that's where we either come in and say, okay, I need to have an emotion code session and I need to see what got triggered and I need to release this, or you can start tapping on it immediately and see if that helps. Sometimes it does, sometimes you need to go deeper. And so 
that will allow you to change your silent vibrational conversation with the world around you. It will help you to release those things that are getting triggered within you because everything outside of us is a mirror to what's actually happening within us. It's the response, it's the reaction, it's the other end of the conversation of the conversation that we're putting out. So another really great thing to do with this is when we have those interactions to go, oh shoot, did I do energetic protection today? Did I say a little prayer at the beginning of the day? Because if you're finding like you're getting triggered everywhere you go, you're either having a bad day because you didn't do your routine or something's out of alignment and everybody has bad days, that's fine. But if you're noticing a whole string of them, it's a bigger conversation. It's something else needs to shift. Something else needs to be released. And so that's when we lean into what's the next step. And a lot of times that's an emotion code session where we can release those trapped emotions and that interaction and the different things that were coming up in that space so that you can move forward without being triggered again, which is fantastic, right? Because who wants to walk around in life carrying all their emotional baggage in the world? I don't know about you, but I don't need that kind of matching luggage. It's not what I look for. My goal is to release as much of it as I can so that my children and their children don't end up in crazy loops that we have unknowingly gotten on the train. You know, people say, oh, not my circus, not my monkeys, or oh, let's get off the merry-go-round. And there's all these funny little things that people say, apple doesn't fall far from the tree. But all of these things, all of these quirky little sayings all go back to that we have a silent vibrational conversation that's making us a match to a situation where we keep recreating a pattern and we keep going through a cycle and something's not changing. Now, if we look that up in the dictionary, that comes out to be chaos. And so... <laughs> We actively choosing to say, no, I'd like to change my silent vibrational conversation. I'd like for it to be an higher. I'd like for it to be positive. I'd like for it to be in the space of what I'd like to manifest in my life. I'd like for it to be the best possible for me. That is growing. That is choosing the best life for yourself. And I know that people will say, oh, well, we can't all have all the things or we can't all have um, a change. And that's not true. We can. We can always choose every day to be better than we were yesterday. We can always choose to be honest with ourselves and to acknowledge our spaces of um, pain or hurt or any of the spaces where we are not feeling alignment. Um, and it's really important to remember, and they teach this in early childhood education, of whenever you're told no once, whenever you tell a child no once, you've got to tell them yes or I love you 10 times to make up for that one no. Now, I don't know about you, but uh, that's a, that's a hard thing and not many people live to that standard. And so there's a whole lot of us walking around with emotional baggage that we very easily can put down, um, and de-stress and decompress and let go of the tension and change our silent vibrational conversation with the world around us. Because the other aspect is, is what are you leaving behind? What is that aspect of you that you're sharing wherever you go? Are you the person who intentionally leaves your house and looks to bring joy to other people? Or are you somebody who seems to get in arguments a lot or seems to have people honk at them or wave with the one finger when they drive by you? Like, think about those things in a look at how is that showing up in your world because the silent vibrational conversation may need to be revisited. It may need to be 
released in a space to help you not have those interactions, to help you not attract those things uh, that can help you to go through life with people being joyful and courteous and respectful and loving and caring around you. Because the other aspect of that is, is as we move forward in the world, we want the people around us, we want the children around us, we want our children, we want the families around us, we want our friends and our neighbors and people we interact with to be a part of the legacy of joy around us. And I know that can't happen every single day, you guys. I know that reality is that some days people will have bad days and that's fine, but we should be looking to have more good days than bad days because in the space of that, it is imperative to understand that your interaction with a complete stranger has the ability to send a domino effect. They call it the butterfly effect, right? And so have that effect be one of positivity, to be one of joy, to be one of light, to be one filled with grace, to be one that allows for growth in everyone. Because sometimes if you come into an interaction and someone is being negative, sharing a space from the space of love, of light, of joy, of grace, allows them to tune back into that frequency. So shifting and seeing, oh, does my silent vibrational conversation get triggered by this person? Or am I the one that's here to shift them? right? So lots to think about, lots to talk about. I'd love to hear, are you actively choosing to release the baggage that you're carrying around? If you are, you can book with me through the link in the um, show notes and we can do a trial session for a hugely discounted rate, you guys. If you have never tried the emotion code, I highly, highly recommend it. And you can book an emotion code session with me in the show notes right in the description below. Find that and I look forward to meeting you and helping you release. And if you're someone who recognizes their silent vibrational conversation, that's fantastic. Most people don't. Um, in the next few episodes, we're going to be talking about our the ping pong conversation, which I always love the ping pong conversation. We're going to be talking about energetic protection and we're going to be talking about um, just allowing yourself to be right? We don't always need to be busy. And we're going to be having some amazing guests coming up. Um, it's, so please check back in and see how your silent vibrational conversation with the world around you is helping you move forward or holding you back. All right. Have a great day. Well, hey there. Thanks for listening to today's episode. We would love it if you would leave us a rating and review in your favorite podcast player. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you never miss an episode.